Okay. So remember, we're gonna remove the uh, big uh, Allen screw. This Allen is a number six. All right, so we're ready to uh, remove this. What I do, I always try to remember, not that it matter much, it really does and it really doesn't, but I try to mark in my mind where the motor was before I remove it. Because you can put this in any position, in any one of the three bases, the distance from bolt to bolt is the same. So you can turn this around and put it in any hole you want. I try to put it in the same one that it was, which is the Yamaha way, and I notice that if I look at the trim from the front, this is the, the bow of the boat, this is the back of the motor. So I'm looking at the trim in the front. I notice that my cable was on the right hand side on the front bolt. So I'm gonna put the new motor with the cable right here, same way. So now, before you do that, oh, I almost forget. Before you do that, remember to loosen your um, hydraulic, uh, your manual release, because then oil will be all over the place. See, right here. This is the same manual release, but before you were looking at it through the bracket of the engine. Now it's just an open uh, feel, okay? So we're ready to remove this guy. Uh, we're, it's, there is an old ring in there that we're not gonna save, but just so you know. So we're gonna go a little here, see? Here comes the oil. A lot of oil to your shoes, to your floor. We're gonna want that. And the motor is coming out. That's it. See the O-ring? This is the O-ring right here. This O-ring is so hard and so already so smashed that we got to discard that um, O-ring. So this is the motor. The motor comes out. And let's go get the, the new uh, star that is coming now. All right, Yamaha brand new. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, put some marine grease right around this edge where the O-ring goes, just like so, okay? We're gonna get that shaft. Remember, this uh, female here where the pump rotates, there is a slot right there in the pump and it rotates, right? What makes rotates that it's, let me put this straight, is this shaft right here. So we already know that we wanted to put the, let me take the excess off. We already know that we wanted to put the, um, the cable, remember, to the front. So I put the uh, O-ring right there, good. The little excess of grease, I'm gonna put around here where the uh, O-ring is gonna sit. It's got a little bit of scuff right here that I like to remove like so that's good that's good okay so let's take the excess of uh, dirt off and this little excess of grease put it around here where the o-ring goes on the base of the uh, flange and then cable to the front right that's what we decided remember at first and now I put that slot from 12 to 6 this way and I'm gonna put mine here from 12 to 6 just like so right like that so now I shouldn't have any problem just going straight from 12 to 6 and aligning my aligning my uh, let me put this here that there that's 12 to 6 yes and it should go just right in there right right there done Okay, so now this, I already cleaned these uh, bolts. The Allen bolts have been cleaned. So I'll put a little grease. Some people like to put Loctite. Hmm. You can do that. I like marine grease, because I don't know when the, the next time that has to be removed. Pull your bolts with marine grease in it. And you are good to go, my friend, to install this unit back in the motor.
I've been to remember from the top, like that, from the top, down, forward, like in a pocket. But before you do that, grab your cable and pass it through the hole in the uh, engine bracket right here. Both like that, one and two. Pull it through, pull it as much as you can. Let me get closer and grab this thing. Up, down, come on baby, get in there. Pull your wire, take your time, take your time. This is patience. Sometimes it goes easy, there you go. Sometimes it's not, it doesn't. Okay, now, it went good, but the holes to the, uh, for the bolts, remember four bolts in each side, are not aligned yet. You have to align it, so I can see here is not aligned. This side's gonna go back a little more, so I'm gonna go back outside, out again, and try to put it from the top, and go back, there you go. Now, I can see that the bolts align pretty well. I already have them here on the side with marine grease. So I'll go after, after you put this through the bracket, remember. And then there is a holder right here. Use that holder too. And then I go one, <clears throat> two. Install. What we'll do next? Just a little tour. Oh, that's plenty. Plenty. That's good. It's not going. It's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. That's good. That's good. Eight bolts. That's a lot of uh, fasteners. Done. Your cable is done. It's going through the bracket. Now, once it's going to the bracket, I'll turn the camera up a little. We have to go through the uh, engine pan, through the grommet, remember? It came out of there, so. And then we'll use positive and negative from the motor. I have to cover you again. We had to come up, remember? It's up, up, up. See? It's coming up. About there. Let's stop right there for a second and we're ready to put the pin, okay? So I'm gonna go now this way, a little more this way. Maybe, maybe, let's try it again. There you go, right there. Now while I hold it there, hold it there, bring your pin and we're gonna put it through, but you know what? Again, I forgot the grease. Let me put the grease real quick in the pin, just like so, a little grease, not much, just enough. All right, we're gonna go through the hole in the bracket. Remember that hole in the bracket? Now this thing we might give me problems again. Come on, get in there. Come on, get in there. There you go, it's right there. I'll go through the hole in the bracket, remember? And Try to align this baby without looking much, which is not easy. Let me see if I get lucky. Not here, not here, not here. No, I'll have to see on this side. Let me see on this side. Yes, there you go. Okay, the pin is in. Once the pin is in, you see the engine doesn't go all the way now already, because now the pin is in place. Now what's next? Next is this guy the retainer holding that pin in place. Remember, little retainer. We're gonna put that retainer at the end, the flat side of the retainer to the outside, okay? The round side to the inside. Always the flat side of the retainers go to the outside. So, let's put this baby in place, right in the groove, right there. I'm gonna push a little with my hands. There you go. Okay, retainer in place, done. Now, I'm ready 
to bring this motor down using the cables. I'm gonna put down, I'm gonna go down. So positive in the green, negative in the blue. Okay, let's go here. Okay, baby, keep going down a little more, a little more, a little more, a little more. There you go. Motor is working good, we know that already. The new motor is perfect. And now, we're gonna put this cable through the pan, the engine pan through the grommet. Remember that grommet? How much am I gonna pull? Remember the white tape? Look at that. Up, 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 the white tape. White tape, up, 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 onto the grommet right there. So this is the length of the cable to the trim motor and the cable to your uh, trim center, which is right here also. That white tape is where you should stop right here on the engine pan. That will give you enough space up here. Look at that. I don't know if the camera is. Now this will give you enough uh, length to get through your hole, through your loop uh, holders, through your uh, zip tie, through your second holder, all the way to the top of your relay, like that, up and down. Remember, as soon as you get here, the right side is the green, the left side or the rear of the engine. The front of the engine is the green, the rear of the engine is the blue. All right, okay. we're ready for the intake manifold. I like to put a little grease on these flanges. You don't need to, because it's already pretty much looped up, but I like to be sure that all my O-rings in the intake manifold are gonna seal my air intake to the uh, valves. All right, intake manifold is your turn. Step up, come on. All right, so we're gonna go front first, which is easier. Okay, there you go. And then the back, there you go, right there. I'm already aligned. Look at that baby. Now you got up and down directly from the bottom. It means that the motor is working well. Everything is working good. You take money for this in position. Guys here, you gotta go like this to finish the job. If not, it's not done. All right, guys, I hope uh, this video helped you in any way. If you uh, learned something or if you really like this video, give me a, a thumbs up, it'll help the channel. And uh, if you wanna subscribe, it'll be good so you know that, uh, be notified uh, when all the jobs are coming. Uh, so thank you for tuning in and I hope you uh, see you guys next time. Take care.